Welcome back to the Turnio YouTube page. Today, I'll be explaining how you can use Turnio to make even better scans with a DSLR camera and how to edit and present them on Sketchfab. First, you'll want to take photos with your DSLR camera of whatever object you want. Make sure to have plenty of photos and have the right lighting and focus. This is important for how sharp your scan will be. Then, import your photos into Turnio. Again, make sure to use all 80 photos available if possible. Once your scan is ready, you can either import your scan straight into Sketchfab from Turnio or edit it on MeshMixer first. I edited my scan in MeshMixer using the Transform and Plane Cut tools to trim the bottom of the scan. If you need more direction on how to do this, check out our past tutorials on MeshMixer editing. If you edit on MeshMixer, make sure to export your scan as an OBJ file and save it as a name with no spaces. Spaces can mess with the coding when you are uploading your scan into Sketchfab. To import your scan into Sketchfab, make sure to include all of the textures, the MTL file, and the OBJ file. Once your scan is uploaded onto Sketchfab, you want to click Edit 3D Settings on the right of your screen towards the top. You will then be directed to the Sketchfab editor. Here, you'll start by straightening out your model. First, click Show Advanced Rotation and use the sphere to rotate your model and line up the base with the bottom of your scan. Once that is done, go to the Shading menu and select Shadeless. This will correct the colors on your scan to look like the colors on the object itself. Then you can choose a background. I just chose a basic yellow color. This will make the presentation of your scan look more attractive and eye-catching. From there, go to the lighting section and turn on brown shadows. From here, you can mess with the intensity and the diffusion of the shadows. You are going to want to keep the height at zero so that the shadow lines up with the bottom of your scan and looks natural. Once that's done, go to post-processing. Here, you can test out the different edits and see which ones you like. I think that the vignette filter gives a nice effect that puts the focus on your scan, but you can choose what looks good for your own. Now all that's left is to save and publish your scan. Thanks so much for watching.